Wisconsin's governor has called for a special session of the legislature to address child care, and it's set for September 20th. Whether, whether it leads to any policy making is up in the air. Now, Evers is calling for $365 million in state funds to keep the Child Care Counts program going. It had been using federal pandemic relief money to help thousands of child care programs statewide. That relief money goes away in January, and Republicans in the legislature removed Child Care Counts from the latest biennial budget. News 8 now caught up with a few Cooley Region legislators today. Both agree that child care should be addressed in Wisconsin, but they're at odds over this special session being the way to get it done. We have an opportunity uh, with this special session that's been called. The governor laid out his plans and priorities, how he plans to approach this child care uh, situation. But if there's other ideas, bring them forward. Representative Lauren Oldenburg says Republican leadership does not trust the governor after he used the line item veto to increase public education funding each year for the next 400 years. They also believe one time funding is not the way to truly solve the child care crisis. How to fix, fix this problem in the long run here? How do we get more and more people go into this profession? It's a big problem. You know, but just throwing money is not the answer also. So we'll let, let's sit down and figure out what is really going on. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss has called Evers' proposal unsustainable and says the legislature will plan on giving Evers a second chance to sign a true tax cut for the middle class.